the pug. This loyal companion has been with man for thousands of years. Still, there is much doubt as to exactly where the pug came from. Some scientists note that pugs have no clear history of intentional breeding, as is the case with other modern dog breeds. Records of pugs associating with humans date back to ancient China, but there are few details. Astonishingly, some believe today's pug is the descendant of a much larger ancestor that first roamed the earth at a time when humans were living in caves during the last ice age, nearly 50,000 years ago. This animal, they claim, was the great woolly pug. If what Ice Age pug believers say is true, perhaps your loyal, adorable pug isn't really a breed of dog at all, but a unique species with an ancient past. It all started with a question. Why are a pug's eyes so huge? Some say it's the pug's enormous eyes that offer our best clue as to its true origins. Animals with large forward-facing eyes are universally nocturnal the large eyes allowing them to see at night. Why then do pugs need such large eyes, considering that, as all pug owners know, pugs sleep and snore all night? Is it possible that your lovable pug's huge eyes are a characteristic held over from its ancient ancestor, the Great Woolly Pug? Perhaps the Ice Age Great Woolly Pug was a nocturnal herbivore, its enormous eyes used to scan for danger in the darkness, while its square jaws ripped leaves and berries from shrubs, or its powerful front legs dug up roots. As is easily demonstrated, today's pugs love fruit, something completely out of character with carnivorous canines. Another clue, say Ice Age pug believers, that suggest pugs are not dogs at all but descendants of an entirely different animal, one who originated in the harsh environment of the Ice Age. But how then did the great woolly pug come to be a tiny modern day companion? Ice Age pug theorists suggest that around 10,000 years ago, ancient humans began domesticating the great woolly pug. And it was this association with humans that turned the once mighty and entirely nocturnal great woolly pug into a much smaller and more manageable companion whose sleeping habits naturally mimicked the humans it cohabitated with. Another theory surrounding how a giant wild pug could have survived tens of thousands of years ago has to do with an odd and little understood aspect of modern pugs. Their seeming ability to increase how much they weigh at will. As anyone knows who's owned a pug, it's very difficult to get up from a seated position once a pug has plopped itself in your lap. For their size, pugs seem to weigh more than they should. This is because the atoms of their stout bodies are packed tightly together for reasons scientists still don't fully understand. This ability to become dead weight in your lap may simply be another leftover characteristic from your pug's Ice Age ancestors who used this ability to defend themselves. Ice Age pug theorists propose that the great woolly pug was able to defend itself by charging at its enemies full force and then simply sitting on them. One final mystery. Did the great woolly pug, if it ever existed, use the well-known trait of snot spraying, something all pug owners are familiar with, as a way to defend itself? by blowing a thick spray of mucus at the eyes of its attacker. This theory is hotly debated among Ice Age pug theorists, but most agree that it is a plausible explanation for today's pug's persistent snot-blowing behavior, yet another holdover from its mighty ancestor, an animal called the Great Woolly Pug, who may have roamed the earth more than 20,000 years ago.